Hello, my name is Kate and welcome to Habits of a Modern Hippie. It is Samoyed Sunday, well more like Samoyed Monday because Denver has been storming like crazy and there has been no light to film. So I did just buy some lights, yay! But today there is going to be another grooming video having to do with these fluffs over here. Tinkerbell is hiding all the way over in the corner, but Meeks is a video hog so she's always around. And today we're going to be talking all about paws. So what I use to trim their nails, trim their paws, keep them looking nice. And yeah, so I have four different tools I use for their paws. There's a slicker brush, their regular slicker brush that I use for general grooming. That's just to get all of the fur clean before we go ahead and cut any of that off. And next is my nail clipper. Now, this circle nail clipper is super, super easy for me but the, because the girl's nails actually fit through it. But if you have a bigger dog and this clipper won't fit through, you can get one of the ones that look more like a scissor. And I'll link both this one and the larger one down below. Next, we have a nail file just to get any rough edges off so they don't scratch up your furniture or your floor. And last, you need a really nice pair of scissors. These are from the Martha Stewart Pets Collection, but there are plenty of different scissors online. I know I had a really big coupon to Petco for these, so that's why I got these, or I wouldn't have spent so much money on them. But yes, so all four of those, super simple. You can use all of them with the exception of, well, these are obviously just for nails, but everything you can use in all of your different grooming. I'm editing and realize I totally forgot to mention this, but another great thing to have is styptic powder. If you get too close to the quick or you cut that nail too short, this is a powder that you can pack in to whatever is bleeding and it helps it stop pretty much immediately. But let's go ahead and get started. So oh, these are Miko's feet and why they need to be groomed when they're dirty. But two, they have these extra little bits sticking out the top. Just got some excess fur underneath. Some crazy, crazy dew claws that are vicious if they catch you. Yeah, so we need to make Miko's feet look like Miss Tinkerbell's feet which are nice and cleaned up because she just went to the groomer. If your pup's feet are super dirty, you'll want to wash them first, but I'm just starting out with my slicker brush to detangle and brush the dirt out. After that is finished, I start by brushing all of the fur down and getting ready to trim the excess fur on Miko's paws. You brush everything forward and then a little bit at a time, trim the fur that sticks out over the roundness of the paw, creating a uniform look. With Samoyeds, you can make this look however you like, but make sure to keep the fur covering their nails. Next, using these same shears, trim excess fur from the bottoms of her feet. This is especially helpful in the winter when ice balls can get stuck in that fur, but I like to trim down the fur between the pads so she can have a bit more grip at home, but also the shorter fur helps deter burrs and the other weeds and stuff like that from getting stuck in between her pads. Do not trim too much though. That fur is there for protection. So you don't want to take lots of it out, just a little bit to make it easier. Now, Samoyeds have what we call semi-retractable claws. They're not like fully retractable like cats might be, but they can really use their feet to reposition their claws to grip ice. As you can see here, when I press on her feet, those claws stick out a little extra, which is what I'm talking about with those retractable claws. Originally, Samoyeds are from Siberia, so they are meant for ice and snow, which is where those paws come from. So that just means you don't need to cut those nails too short as they're going to pull up into themselves anyway. Looking at the nail, you can trim some of the white off. Miko doesn't have a lot because they live in the city, so it's like an emery board walking on concrete so they don't get super long. But you can trim some of the white off, making sure to not get too close to what is called the quick, which is the pink part of the nail that contains all the blood vessels. 
If you do clip too close and they start to bleed, that is where the styptic powder comes in handy. So use your nail clippers to remove a bit of the white, and then your nail file to smooth down any rough edges. And last but not least, don't forget to trim the dew claw, or what people call that fifth toe as well. You don't want that scratching anybody up. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please excuse the dogs attacking each other on my lap. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't already, make sure to click that subscribe button down below so you don't miss any future videos. I do wellness videos on Wednesday, and these little girls are the stars on the show on Sunday. But we will see you again soon. Bye! Next, I get asked about barking. So, Samoyeds are notoriously a very, very vocal breed. That is never going to change. They are always going to be vocal. And I get asked all the time.